Hello there everyone, welcome back to another JJ's Productions video. So yeah, now those of you who've been watching any of my content lately, I have been talking about Death Stranding quite a bit. Now as games go, it's not new, it's been out for quite a while, but I don't know about anyone else, it feels like a Marmite game. I feel like certain people maybe wrote it off quite quickly. So I had a go, I had seen Let's Plays of it before, so I had an idea of the story anyway, but I wanted to actually have a feel for the game, and I enjoyed it. So my thought process was, I want to play it for you guys, I want you to see the story, I want you to see the gameplay, and hopefully you can have the same reaction I did, which is, maybe it's not as bad as you think. So, first things first, I actually want to just show you something that I think is pretty cool. So I'm on a PS5 here, and uh, this is quite impressive. I'm just uh, bringing this up so I can see it a bit clearer. Okay, so, I'm not going to actually show you, um, oh, I can't show you yet, can I? Uh, honestly, right, the load times in this game are fantastic. That's all I was going to show, but unfortunately I don't want to go and continue because it might spoil something. But, um, yeah, honestly it's great. So, starting a new game, your game uh, will be saved automatically, overwriting your previous saved data. Uh, um, yeah, that essentially means I cannot have multiple games. Oh, well. Here we go. So, last time I did this, I actually went on hard. So, re recommended for those who are uh, good at normal action games. Completing the game at this difficulty level requires a variety of skills, but will provide a true sense of accomplishment. And I will agree, it was pretty hard. So, I'm going to up the difficulty for myself a little bit. So, recommended for those who are particularly good at action games, deliveries and battles will be more challenging. But completing the game at this difficulty level will make you the envy of all your fellow porters. So, I am going to do it on this difficulty level for the simple reason. I feel like it, at the end, especially, it was getting a little bit too easy. So, one, it'll help me with that. Because I know a lot about the game now, so this just basically makes it a bit more interesting for myself. But also, hopefully, you guys can see what it's like at the hardest level. So, um, hopefully, I don't pull my hair out or what little's left in frustration. Let's go. Oh, we're on a block screen, are we? Ooh. What is my birth date? Well, all I can say is this gives you guys a chance to wish me happy birthday. So uh, let's just, well, when it comes around anyway, we've just passed it, but uh, there we go. Confirm. And it does say this means that anyone, I have not just seen anyone say this means anything. <laughs> I mean, it maybe it does, but I have not seen anyone say that the game is really that different if you do. But uh, if, you, if you've played it, if you know it's different, please let me know, because I'm curious what is different. All right, so I'm going to hide myself for this bit because I don't particularly want to ruin the cutscenes for you because my reactions aren't new. So uh, here's just Hideo's little uh, intro for Konami Productions, is it? Can't remember if that's what his company name is. Kojima Productions, I think that's what the flag says. There we go. All right. I'll see you after the opening cutscene. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Some 
no, 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 no. Ah. Ah, great. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to say it straight out. Whenever music plays in this game, I get told off for it, or at least my YouTube channel will. So, uh, yeah, as cliche as it is, please hit the like button because it'd be nice just to let YouTube know that uh, at least someone appreciates uh, the music playing. <laughs> okay, so essentially, this is the game as far as uh, I'm at. Well, we're actually playing. Doi. Now, down there. We've got cargo that we need to pick up, but unfortunately we need to go there really right now just to get some shelter because this rain is not typical rain, as you probably noticed in the cutscene. Um, yeah, it causes time to accelerate on whatever it touches. Um, there's certain materials that are resistant to it, i.e. that's how what Sam's wearing right now isn't uh, melting. But uh, yeah, you don't want to be out in the rain for too long. If anything, your cargo gets ruined. So we're going to just head to this cave. Um, we've got a little bit of cargo in there as well, I believe. So we'll go pick that up. And uh, yeah. This is basically just the, like the very basic gameplay. Move, climb. <laughs> Alright. Another cutscene, so here we go.
I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls that up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. For me? It must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought the Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries, that's all. Central Dispatch, Freelance Contractor, Sam Porter Bridges, Receiver standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Time for fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. So yeah, the, the opening of this game especially, it is very heavy with cutscenes, so I don't mind that. I actually think, okay, even though I'm going to hide my face during most of it and mute my mic, I like the idea you guys can watch what's going on. Um, but yeah, it's a very story-centric uh, opening, and what I will say is, if it sounds like there's a lot of jargon, just bear with it. Stay patient, because... 
this is my second playthrough of the game. Like I say, I have watched playthroughs before, so I've got a quite a okay understanding of the law right now. But I would say after one playthrough, you know what's going on. So just bear with it, because things will make sense the more you watch. <laughs> now, I could have tried to do something where I record around the music, but I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not monetized on YouTube. Maybe one day that'll change. But um, I think the music in this game is fantastic for what the game is. So even if I'm talking over it a bit right now, just to try and maybe skew the YouTube uh, senses, I, I don't mind. I, to be honest, I'll pick it up. YouTube's too smart for it. But um, honestly, the music's great. So that's our destination over there, Central Knot City. There's going to be a lot of similar sounding names in this game. So the best way I can describe it is knots are essentially towns or the, the, the main locations. Um, you also have way stations, so that's places en route. And you also have distribution centers. Um, other than that, you have proper shelters. Essentially, they are individual locations. Uh, they aren't like towns. They're just basically someone who's got a little bunker. That's the main gist of the, the traveling. Um, so this is like a, a big one. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I have to laugh. I'm trying to show you guys how I do this. And it's like, yeah, I just tripped up as well. Uh, Cryptobiotes, we're just going to eat one of them. Even though it doesn't really matter too much here and now, Cryptobiotes do help us recover blood levels. And we need that if ever we get damaged. So uh, it's not that important right now. We aren't low on blood, but uh, it's not bad picking up a Cryptobiote. Okay, now, this little thing that keeps popping up on Sam's shoulder is called an Odra deck. And, ooh, we've got a bit of cargo. Ooh, over there, cool. Um, yeah, essentially, it can help us navigate the terrain. So right now I'm looking on the water. It says blue, so it's safe to traverse. If it's yellow, it means that it's okay, but you will get a bit deep. And if it's red, you will fall. So we don't want to go in red water. Now, yeah, we're pretty comfortably. I have to hold down the R2 and L2 buttons here to get across comfortably. That little bar that's popped up on the screen is the stamina, so we don't want that to drop, otherwise I will fall. We're going to pick up the rest of the order. There we go. We've got the total four out of four. And now we're going to climb up here. And our location's just up ahead, so we're doing quite well. So yeah, this first part is going to be long because I'm going to try and include as much of the early cutscenes as I can because the opening of the game can drag a little bit. I'm I'm not saying the story's bad or anything, but because there's a lot of cutscenes, it takes a while to get through them. So I'd rather put them all in one part so you guys get a good idea of what's going on and then there's going to be a lot of gameplay after, hopefully. I say hopefully there is. <laughs> so yeah, Central Knox City. Um... Just having a little nosy around here. Been a while since I've been here. <laughs> also, if you haven't noticed, Sam struggles when he's got more weight. Uh, it does say that on the screen, obviously. But yeah, um, early on especially, it can be a bit tricky. You have to essentially just keep holding down L2 and R2. The more you play the game, the easier it gets. Um, I've been playing this and it's not difficult to, at all to move around in the end. But... Early on especially, can be a little tricky, so uh, just bear with it. Here we go. So, once I've signed in here, we're going to have a pretty long cutscene, so uh, I will see you on the other side of it. So let's just uh, deliver our package. So make delivery, deliver the requested cargo. We've got the main order, plus some bits of lost cargo that um, we've been asked for. Also, for those of you who have heard a little bit about this game, there is something called likes <laughs> and it is like a bit of play on social media but essentially the more likes you get the the idea is you get more support i believe i'll try and explain it more as we get into the game and i can actually show you but for now just likes are good all right so let's deliver and uh yeah you're going to see this animation a lot unfortunately they didn't put many variants of it in you can skip it but for this one so i'll I'll show it a bit more. <laughs> Bring 
What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Considering they went down a waterfall or a cliff, I think that's very good. <laughs> so yeah, after every order you get this screen, essentially just saying how your cargo came in, was it good timing, etc. Um, so this was order number one, and I may put these in the title just to try and uh, give a little clue for what we're doing each time. So uh, yeah, let's just skip all this. S rank is the best rank you can get, so S is awesome. Let's just skip this as well. And then you've got the porter grades here. Now, these will improve the more you play. Miscellaneous is connected to likes. Delivery volume speaks for itself. The more cargo you carry for a delivery, the higher that score goes up. Cargo condition, the better the cargo is. Again, speaks for itself. Delivery time, that's very specific to timed orders. We'll go into that at a point later down the road. And bridge link. Again, that's more about to connecting with other players, so I'll show you that later on. But yeah, pretty self it seems a little bit complicated, but it is quite self-explanatory once you know what you're doing. So uh, yeah, don't worry about it for now. All right, let's get into it. Bridges corpse disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Talkman said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. I'm not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out too. 
Roll out. different when I was a kid. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Rainbow! How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're up to cut to the BTs. Right where they want us. Get us out of here. Uh. Sam, you didn't see anything. No, nothing. <laughs> this BB must be Buster or something.
Okay, so this is only a little thing, but um, yeah, this is called repatriation. So anytime Sam or another player dies, they end up here, which is the seam. And yeah, essentially, it's like a little underworld place, <laughs> or underwater place, I should say. So um, yeah, all you have to do is just touch Sam and he'll go back to the real world. So um, yeah, th this will make a lot more sense, trust me, but for now, 
let's just uh, let's just go inside Sam's mouse. It'll all make sense, honestly. <laughs> explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. 